Hello everybody and welcome to another quick and fast and short tutorial. Previously I made this double reflection shader and so one of the comments was a guy telling me this looks flat to me. So then I was looking for something different which is what they call the parallax mapping. And so this is the parallax mapping. It's as if these rocks are 3D inside of the object. It looks brilliant. And it's, uh, it's the same, like it's only one surface. There is no surfaces under or anything like that. So this is exactly the same uh, shader as this one. I'm going to show you. Except for one thing, which is this node, a custom node that I made, which takes a value of how much height do you want, the view direction, the tangent view direction, and the height texture, which is the same as I used the I used the same texture as the ambient occlusion texture. It works fine. And it takes the base UV. So if you want to do any tiling and offset, you do it before that, and you just put that in. If you don't want to do any tiling and offset, then you don't put anything and a sample state, which is create node sample state. And then this outsp outputs only one thing, which is the UV that you need to connect to all your texture that you are using the, uh, the normal map and the color texture and the ambient occlusion and that's it so to get this node you have two options you can support me by buying my new asset on the asset store link in the description which has all of these materials the ones that I already created in previous tutorials and uh, this is the parallax and you have tune shading material that defines two edges for the shadow and it takes a texture you have the burning material which you can define two separate textures for the place that has been burned and the place that didn't yet you can learn between them define the, the color of the edge and how thick it is. We have the water uh, fountain material. You have your refraction material. And this terrain material, which you can define where the water starts and how smooth the transition between them. And then you can apply that for making snow after that and so on. The other way to get this node is to download the code from GitHub. The link also is in the description. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.